Hello everybody and welcome to today's ZenPrice Mobile Minute. My name is Chandrasekhar. I'm here to talk to you about Active Directory integration and why it's important for MDM solutions. Active Directory integration avoids the need to administer mobile users separately. Um, it helps the administrator manage it, users, groups, and privileges together with the way that it's configured in Active Directory. It also helps in the mixing and matching of profiles for the MDM. Um, say for instance, I am part of the marketing group, but I'm also part of the West Coast users group. I could get a combination of the profiles associated with both of these groups automatically applied on my device. I also want to talk about the differences in the way Active Directory integration is done. There's a lot of solutions out there that claim Active Directory integration, but don't do it right. They cache data, data in the DMZ. They also have data synchronization issues and essentially a split brain problem between the database on the server versus the actual AD system. And these cause a lot of um, uh, problems for administrators. So I, let me take you through a quick demo of our Active Directory capability. I have an um, iPhone device uh, here that has uh, the Safari browser configured in it. Um, and what I want to show today is as a result of the application of a new profile, when I add my uh, username to a new group, uh, the Safari browser is going to be disabled from this phone. So let's go to the Zenprice Device Manager. And I have in the uh, Users tab Active Directory already configured. And the domain users um, here are, is one group inside this Active Directory server. And I am a part, the Zenprice demo user uh, with this iPhone uh, is part of that domain or part of that group. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to flip over to the Active Directory server and I am going to add the Zenprice demo user as a member of the No Web Browsing group. So once I've added this, I can go back to my ZDM server and show you, uh, by way of forcing a connection to the device, I can make the device get the new profile automatically loaded to it. So this new profile has been added. And as a result, if we go to the device screen, the Safari browser is disabled. So we've done very little on the MDM server itself. Just the addition of my username into the No Web Browsing group automatically applied the, the profile associated with that group, which is no browsing with a Safari uh, browser. So folks, with Active Directory integration, make sure to peel back the covers and, and see what it really means. And that's today's Mobile Minute. Thank you very much.